Well, it's a great honour for me and my family uh, for me to be present. Um, rugby's, rugby's been a big part of my life for 40 odd years, so um, this is uh, my most joyous day, I would say, uh, in my whole time in rugby. So I'm really thrilled. Some pretty big statements made in the street plan about you know uh, Grand Slams and, and, and World Cups. Yeah. Um, how exciting does that make you? How excited is, are you to be part of that? You know that kind of ambitious. Well, I mean, I think ambition is, is, is at the heart of everything and I can't imagine any professional player or any player wanting to be a professional player not wanting to have as an ambition uh, winning a Six Nations or a World Cup. And interestingly, when we look at who contested the World Cup final, New Zealand and France, we haven't beaten New Zealand, but we've beaten France many times and even last year in the Six Nations, that first half hour was absolutely fantastic by Scotland when we put them under so much pressure. So, you know, asking ourselves how far we are, are we away, it's the consistency factor and what was really pleasing was three wins on the trot in the South Sea Islands um, just last month. So, you know, if we can build on that consistency, that will give confidence to the team and hopefully take us forward. Is the, the grassroots and the, and the domestic game in supporting that delivery? Well, you can only build an organisation from the base and, you know, bottom up. And the base has to be strong, the base has to be vibrant. And what's been really encouraging is to see the growth in our game. And I've visited a number of clubs uh, as vice president this year and also with my work uh, with the Bill McLaren Foundation. I've seen so many youngsters out there having such fun and benefiting and developing life skills through playing the game of rugby. It's so central, this team ethos, just a massive part of being uh, in rugby. And, you know, long may that continue. And the grassroots, we want to see the players coming through from the grassroots. And it'll only be a small percentage that ever get up to the professional level. But let's hope that... Um, that the grassroots game will continue to be strong and I'm hoping the BNI Cup with four teams now, three of which haven't been in the BNI before and that says a lot for Scottish rugby, uh, that other teams are coming through and being given a chance. So let's hope that continues and further down as well that people continue to enjoy what is a great game, absolutely terrific game.